kita we would like to welcome this is Miss Lady Ocel C. Espinosa. She is the Regional Insight Director for Emerging Market Southeast Asia, Essentia. She will appear on our big screen over here because she is on a Zoom platform. She will share all the research regarding with the Digital Brands Award 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Lady Ocel Espinosa. Can you take a plus? Hello. All right. Hello. Hello. Okay, Welcome we can hear to you well. All. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome Hello. to all the participants and attendees of the 11th InfoBank Info Digital Brand Awards. Brand Awards. It is my, my pleasure to spend this afternoon with you and share some views on the future of the digital era in Indonesia in our region in Asia. All right. As digital communicators, we need a roadmap as we traverse and succeed day to day, and this should come from the understanding of the digital economy all the way to the next big leap in the digital space. It is no secret that social media has and continues to redefine the global landscape. Social media is fueling the global economy by creating new jobs, democratizing information, and pushing brands far beyond the borders. I totally agree with the statement, and I hope all of you attending this um, event agrees with the statement as well, that the digital economy is a cornerstone of sustainable development. In fact, we are at the height of what Felix LaHaye would like to call the digital gold rush. One created around the world as a magnitude of brands and influencers take the social media to target and engage consumers more effectively. Consequently, the always on mentality of social media has called for the creation of jobs in the banking sector, in the financial sector that never existed before in order to handle the impact social has on the business. Think social media manager. This role did not exist in any industry 20 years ago. Yet almost every big brand has one today across Indonesia and across Southeast Asia. Social media influencers, for example, they have also risen to popularity as a completely new form of entertainers and trusted sources of product information. Users look to social media influencers as the new word of mouth often basing purchasing decisions on their opinions. Social media levels, the professional playing field, especially in the finance and the banking sector, through democratization of information. Prior to social media adoption, it was very difficult for brands to consistently get their information out to a targeted audience. This wide availability of information and data represents tremendous opportunities, especially in our professional capacity. Today, social media platforms such as LinkedIn and Glassdoor are one-stop shops for job seekers to find information that was previously unavailable, especially for the banking and the financial sector. This transparency has led to widespread improvements in the job market, such as a fair pay and more efficient hiring, which in turn leads to the betterment of employees. Social media also has created a reason for people to want to connect. Its presence has gone beyond the basics and has empowered brands to expand borders and reach a global audience with a single post. Brands can now cross-promote content to reach users at multiple touch points, which becomes even more important as the role of social commerce continues to gain popularity. This phase of the digital gold rush highlights how social media is a critical tool to brand promotion and driving economic development. From creating new jobs to leveling the playing field for small and mid-sized businesses, Social media is growing stronger and will continue to fuel our economy for years to come. So how do we sustain going digital? 
If there were any lingering doubts about the necessity of digital transformation to business longevity, even survival, the coronavirus has silenced all of us. It's go digital or go dark. This digital mandate isn't new. It's simply been brought into sharp focus at this time. Current events have accelerated the paradigm as evidenced by the marked shift in spending towards digital businesses. The pandemic is actually a reality check for businesses in Indonesia, across, the, across Asia, and all over the world, especially those that actually have been reluctant to embrace digital transformation and now find themselves unprepared. Going digital in and of itself isn't the answer or end all and be all that ails businesses in the current economic environment. But with but more, more tools, tools at our disposal to not only weather the storm, we come out the other side stronger. So don't, don't write off the digital laggards just yet, however. Crisis breeds ingenuity and good ideas put into practice can propel any business to break out performance. Hence, some of the findings we see and we spotlight the digital advantage from security to productivity, efficiency, Customer, customer needs, needs and agility. And so now we ask, how do we act on the new now? How do we even create impact? Right? Times have changed. More than just demographics, maybe it's time to look at common interests of fandoms. More than just plain, let's say, media monitoring, maybe it's time to mine actionable insights and go beyond looking just sentiment positive or negative. It is time to measure your impact and your company's reputation. Note that there is a solution for everyone, regardless of functions, from comms to PR to ag, brand and marketing, and even the government sector. But the range of digital needs in the new now include looking beyond what you are used to, such as multi-data sets, multi-markets, and even multi-formats. Aside from that, you also need to make sure you're looking at the right lens. If you are looking at strength and shortcomings of key brand attitudes, then see it from a brand impact perspective. If you're looking at impact and effects of media exposure on your target audience, see it from a media impact lens. If you are looking at a comprehensive view on what people say, think, and feel about your organization, then see it from a reputation standpoint. The question now is how? Right? Um, in now, the earlier, in the earlier discussion, discussion, that has, that has been explained. But again, we ask how. how? The answer the is if you're doing one, one two, two, it's not, not all of the items you see on your screens. screens. From, identifying from identifying consumer needs, needs to tracking brand, brand performance, performance to, to reputation, reputation analysis, analysis, and even influencers, influencers management. management. Start, Start now, now, else, else you are missing on the, on the best, best business strategies to sustain the economy in the digital era and even in the metaverse era. What's, What's the next big leap then in the digital space? space? Any, Any answer? answer? We or dare say, say stop, stop doing, doing generic, generic social listening. listening. Different, different people, people talk, talk about the same topic, topic differently. differently. And, that's and that's why generic, generic social listening will only take you so far. far. It is, it is time, time to use advanced, advanced audience, audience intelligence platforms, platforms combining conversational and behavioral, and behavioral signals, signals from, from the world's the leading digital, digital destinations, destinations with industry-specific industry artificial intelligence to provide transform transformative insights for marketing and innovation strategy. Do community-based listening. Track your social media trends real-time. Do advanced own channel analytics and seek for industry-specific insights. This means you, all of you here present today, we all need to track any public topic of conversation. We need to break down our audience into communities of interest and get a demographic and behavior profile for each one. We also need to unlock deeper social insights, personalize your brand's content, and even influencer strategy by community. I'd like to wrap this introductory and wrap this all up by saying that beyond all the techniques, the strategies, mobile apps, and digital platforms, the secret to the best social media and brand digital practice and experience and even award-winning executions is the communicator, the change maker, and that is you, each and every one of you present here today.
I am Lady Ochal Espinosa. I'm the Regional Insights Director for Emerging Markets in Southeast Asia in Aysentia. I am part of a strong and diverse team that is the best in class in insights and research in Asia. With the best in multi-market media intelligence, we have leaders here in Indonesia who you see on your screens and they are also present physically in the event today. We have sophisticated media intelligence, but most of all, we have the best people. We are happy to be a partner of the 11th InfoBank Digital Brand Awards. Congratulations to all the winners. Terima kasih.